Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So once again, I want to talk about the whole Zillia Banks situation. So if you guys don't know, Zillia Banks is once again causing social media drama. So what went down is that she took to her Instagram page the other day to let everyone know that she just got done filming an episode of Nick Cannon's Wilding Out. And so basically, she was stating that, you know, during the filming, she started crying. They were making fun of her. Y'all niggas are fucking everywhere. Like, I don't want to share this with y'all. I'm sorry. Honey was a whole bunch of mess. I'm going to go ahead and read to you what Azealia Banks had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Azealia Banks says, I did wildin' out today, and there were tons of pre-planned, colorist jokes, and of course, cry baby cried. Some little scrawny black Atlanta twink was prepared for me. They planned this, and he hit me on short notice and told me I didn't have to participate in this coon-ass freestyle battle. Not my style. And I was to sing my song and go home. I show up and some guy who's darker than me starts calling me ugly and being colorist. Then all of a sudden, a choir of the most disgusting, basic, local, cattle call, urban, pseudo-comedic, fat because you sit in a chair all day, greasy, soul food-induced, south of the Mason-Dixon, self-hatred ass, it backwards, post Jim Crow, post traumatic slave disorder, true self-esteem less, ward of the state clowns with their low scale, highly unimpressive resumes, start going off about how the beautiful Azealia Banks looks. I've never felt so much hate and rage for anyone else than I did at that moment. Yamaya was really on stage, Yamaya. So after she wrote that, Nick Cannon commented on her post and Nick Cannon says, don't you hate when you create your own storms, but forget your umbrella? At Azealia Banks, we are praying for you, queen. Speedy recovery and healing. Then she says, I'm sorry, but this is why I don't ever let niggas near me. Honey. So Azealia Banks is definitely in her feelings. And so um, Emmanuel Hudson and Jason Lee, who were also there during that episode of Wildin' Out, um, they decided to take the social media and basically state what happened. Jason Lee also spoke about it as well. So once they made their statements public and it went viral, Azealia Banks took to her Instagram stories and she went off. She was talking shit about black men. She's talking about bouncing on white dick. This girl has all types of issues. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys all the shit that went down on social media. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. just got home from shooting season 12 of Wildin' Out, and I'm so excited to be back in LA, but with all this Azalea Banks madness going on, I felt the need to say something because y'all know me, I'm Jason Lee with the T. All right, so I was on yesterday's episode. I can't get into all the details because I'm just a cast member, it's not my show, but I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Okay, I can't say all the details, but I'm gonna say it in a wild style. Ready, here you go. All right, 
DC Young Fly cracked one Cardi B joke and you called him a faggot. Then they switched up all the games because they didn't want to let none of us let you have it. Azalea Banks, your whole career is trash. And if you want a hit, let me call Cardi B and see if she got any more hits in her stash. How you even got on Wildin' Out was a mystery. And if I studied your rap career in high school, bitch, it would have been ancient history. Anyway, thank you, Nick Cannon and Viacom MTV for making the show inclusive of the LGBT commu community. You got three of us on your show. Season 11's on now. Season 12 coming. Black man calling a black woman ugly like he didn't slide out of fucking black pussy. <laughs> wow, like... Y'all niggas are just so ass backwards. <laughs> I'm not running, you know, because I can't take the heat. I'm running away from you niggas and back towards the white dick. <laughs> Cause y'all niggas are not gonna fuck this up. Like y'all are not gonna fuck my life up. Have me out here screaming and yelling and feeling ugly and sh I'm sorry, my intelligence is very fucking expensive and you niggas cannot fucking afford me. Like, and you could never afford me. Like hip hop could never fucking afford me. I'm sorry, so they'll, you know, you gotta go for a bitch that's like making bird coo sounds. But the first thing that comes out of your fucking dumbass mouth about my music is, oh gay, oh gay, like, nigga, did you hear the drum pattern? Did you hear the cymbals? Like, really? It's a gay tambourine, bitch? I'm sorry, my intelligence is very fucking expensive and you niggas cannot fucking afford me. Like, and you could never afford me. Like, hip hop could never fucking afford me. They roasted her though. And anyway, she, she posted a, I think she performed and then they made fun of her. A lot of times people would rather work with second best who's not so angry than first best. And, and Nick Adam, Nick Adam, you don't have to pray for me. Pray for your fucking immune system, okay? You don't have to pray for me, nigga. <laughs> I'm a bitch. But yeah, niggas really be trying to gas it. They be like, oh, why you didn't say that? Why you didn't have that energy? Ah, ah, ah. It's like, no, I really would have freaked out and really beat one of y'all niggas up. And then I'm gonna be in jail. And I can't get no more pie on my hands. No <laughs> oh, shade. I'm going back to New York right now. I'm about to go get this white dick. Y'all niggas are not going to stress me out. Okay? And that's the end. Yes, I'm back in my free northern Negro culture. You know, I'm feeling like a Yankee doodle. Probably bake a cake tonight. Um, and I don't know what else I'm going to do tonight. It's so funny, you know, they're like, people that are like, oh, she's running, she's running. It's like, no, bitch, you know what? Having these crazy outbursts with you niggas are like, it's, it's like a big part of the reason why, like, so many of my other fucking like, The people who actually invest money in Azealia Banks hate when I'm arguing with dumbass black men, you know? Because they, they have no in, they have no out, they don't care. They really just want to invest in Azealia Banks and keep it going. So, you know, I'm not running, you know, because I can't take the heat. I'm running away from you niggas and back towards the white dick. Because <laughs> y'all niggas are not going to fuck this up. Like, y'all are not going to fuck my life up. Have me out here screaming and yelling and feeling ugly and sh And I just, you know, I love, like, things. So, like, it's just, like... I, I gotta stop arguing or, like, being around niggas that I just would not even let smell my pussy. You know what I mean? Like, I would not let you smell my pussy on its worst day. Like, no shade. I have to what would Naomi Campbell do, y'all niggas? Because Naomi, first off, Naomi is not Atlanta. You know? She would never be in Atlanta doing anything. Let alone talking to you fucking dusty ass Negro. <sighs> So y'all just seen all that mess, the back and forth, the stuff that Azealia Banks was saying. This is why I don't feel bad for this girl, okay? Because let's keep it real online. Azealia Banks has all this mouth. She can clap back. Y'all remember when she read Cardi B for the filth? So much so that Cardi B deleted her Instagram for a few days, okay? So now I'm thinking this, okay? Azealia Banks seems like the type that either she can clap back 
online like a fucking troll, like the troll that she is. But then when she comes face to face with people, she does not know how to do that same clapback. So either your clapbacks are fake and you it takes you hours to come up with them or somebody's writing them for you because she should have been very creative on Wildin' Out, being that she loves to clap back online and go in on people and drag people. But then in person, you want to be meek and mild. Everybody knows what Wildin' Out is about, point blank period. Everybody knows it's a roasting show. It's all roasting gag and you have to have tough skin. She comes off like she's this tough girl. She likes to call people out all the time on her shit. But then when she gets it back, she gets hurt. Just about a week ago, she started calling out Nicki Minaj, drug her for the whole Little Mermaid situation. And then come to find out the only reason why she was mad at Nicki Minaj is because Nicki Minaj refused to do a collaboration with her, okay? Azealia Banks is a ball of negativity. She's an angry person and she's not happy with herself. And that's why she takes all of her frustrations out on other people. Now, I find it funny that she wants to say that this show is colorist and they're making fun of a dark-skinned woman. What I find funny is that now Azealia Banks wants dark-skinned women like myself and others to rally around her and pat her on her back and baby her. Uh, no, bitch. I'm not doing that. I'm not falling for that. I'm so tired of these dark-skinned girls using colorism and, and things like that when it's convenient for them, okay? And the reason why I'm not rallying behind Azealia Banks is because Azealia Banks, you were the same dark-skinned chick who made fun of another dark-skinned woman online two years ago when you called her a tar baby. You told her to go pick cotton. You called her ugly. So it's funny how you can talk about people who are darker than you and call them tar babies, but then when you get that back, all of a sudden it's an issue. You got kicked out of the group? Fucking brown bitch, brown boy, nigger. <laughs> you nigger. Damn, Zane, you got kicked out of the group. With your black ass. With your fucking black ass. <laughs> With your fucking black ass. And then all these little grime niggas. Like, who the fuck even listens to grime? I'm sorry. Nobody listens to grime, you understand? US rappers and hip hop rappers, like, nigger. Blackie. Nobody gives a fuck. All of a sudden it's colorism. All of a sudden it's not okay. You're the same one who's promoting skin bleaching and talking about other dark skinned people. But then once you get roasted, all of a sudden it's not roasting gags. All of a sudden you're a crybaby. All of a sudden you're in tears because people are reading you for the filth the same way that you sit online and read everybody else for the filth. Okay? And what she said about Nick Cannon's illness was bullshit. His illness has absolutely nothing to do with what went down on that show. She does not want to take personal responsibility for her actions and the words that came out her mouth. So instead she wants to deflect and talk about his lupus, which was a really low blow. You know, but Azealia Banks, I don't feel bad for you. This is coming from another dark-skinned chick. I don't feel bad for you at all. You create your own storms. You create your own drama. You're constantly starting shit. And then you want to hurt and make it a colorism issue in hopes of getting dark-skinned women to rally behind you and have your back, okay? Now, I'm not saying that what those guys said were right. I'm not saying what they said was okay. I haven't watched the show. The show hasn't aired yet. So I don't know what exactly was said besides what Azealia Banks is saying. So if they did say some colorist things, that's wrong. But let's keep it real. She herself has said a lot of colorist things as well, okay? Point blank, period. So no, I will not be shedding not one damn tattoo tear, honey, okay? For Miss Azealia Banks. Because you get what you put out there and you're always putting out negativity. You're always starting shit with people. You're always picking on folks. And then as soon as you get it back, all of a sudden you have no clap back in real life. But on social media, she has clap backs for days. Y'all heard me read that long ass fucking statement. She had all types of clap backs in that damn statement. But why didn't she bring that same damn energy to wildin' out, okay? That's my question. So that makes me feel like, you know what? Somebody must be writing your damn Instagram post for you because it's funny that she can have all this to say on the gram, but in real life, it's crickets. Where they do that at? Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation, honey. Once again, concerning Azealia Banks versus the whole cast of Wilding Out. Do you stand by Azealia Banks? Do you feel like what they did to her was colorist and it was unfair? Or do you feel like, you know what, Azealia Banks loves to dish it, she loves to talk shit, she loves to start stuff with people, and then when it comes down to it, she has no clap back in real life, so that's on her. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.